This is a 2023 Botnia Targa 32. We're going to show you all the features and benefits this boat has to offer, and it has a lot. It's a fantastic 4x4 of the sea, only six months old, absolutely as new condition. So watch all the features and benefits with me right now on this walkthrough tour. I'm Jonathan Parker from Park Owners Boat Sales, and we're here today outside our office in Southampton um, on the River Hamble on the south coast of England. And um, we're here to show you this Botnia Targa 32. It's a 2023 model. It's only six months old, um, so it represents an almost new boat. And off the back of the Southampton Boat Show, um, it's a really fantastic buy and good, brilliant saving off of a new boat. So if you don't want to pay new boat prices, but you want a new boat, this is the one for you. So we're going to show you around the boat right now. Um, but I'm starting off here on the bathing platform of the Botany Targa 32. And as you can see, it's a quite a generous size. It's nice and wide. What I always like about these, um, these Scandinavian boats, because they're built for, for rugged seas, they're built for bow boarding, which we'll show you in a bit. Um, but they're also built um, for shallow waters. So most of these types of boats have stern drives, which this one does. Um, but also, if you happen to have, because um, there's quite a lot of um, debris in the water, quite a lot of weed in the water, ropes, things like that. If you do get caught around something around your drives, um, it's always difficult of an extended platform to actually access the drives to clear them and clean them and, and keep on, on top of any issues. Um, but Botany Targa have thought of that. And that's in this hatch here. So if I open this up, you can actually see it's not a locker, actually gives you clearance to the two stern drives. These are Volvo Penta D4 engines, and these stern drives are actually on a joystick control. So they work independently of each other. Um, but also you can see they have two sets of stainless steel duo props, and these stern drives can lift up and lift down. So if you do happen to have something caught around the propellers, or you want to give the drives a clean, you still can, because you can simply lift them up, can clear what you need so you've got really good access really good feature and you only really see this feature on the scandinavian boats don't know why because it's such a great idea um, i really love these fender holders so we've got nice easy fender holders and what you will notice is that one of the options that it's gone for is actually the black metal work and this is really really rugged it's very very hard to scratch indeed and um, but it really modernizes the boat it's a really nice feel a lot of boats have gone for this black now and it's, it's anti-glare as well so there's not so much reflection off of it um, but all the cleats are black all this all the stainless fittings are black so it is stainless steel underneath but it's all black coated and even the fender holders as well and i actually like this it's like a, a nice woolly jumper I like these fender socks, really nice. Um, but then as we can see, we've got quite a nice height for you all, all the way round. Um, but at the back here, you've obviously got the gates. There's a very simple mechanism. You just literally pull on this lever and the gate opens up. Um, if you want extra security on the gate, you can lock it off. So you can actually have it nice and secure. So if anyone lent against it, it'd be nice and solid. And it does it both sides. So you can open up both doors and then you'll enter into the generous cockpit area. There is a table that fits here, two pedestal legs and a table. Um, and then we've got good locker space either side um, for ropes and such like. Um, and there is actually a transom shower as well, which is just fitted on the back there. And this area then can be used for obviously, um, um, it's, it's a good access on and off the boat. It can be a fishing area, you can fish from here. It's also a social area. And it has neat touches like these will pop up and give you extra seating area if required. And um, there's even nice handholds all the way around. Um, there's even like a perch here. So if you did want to pop stuff up in here, it won't slide off. Um, and a nice almost little cover here as well with lights in. So very, very smart, um, very high quality. As I go around, everything is high quality. All the fittings, all the fixtures are really high quality. And I love this wooden rail, it goes all the way around. And as you saw from my intro, this lifts up and gives you side access. There's one on the opposite side of the boat as well. Um, so you can get on and off the pontoon nice and easy if you don't always want to get on off the rear. Um, but as you can see, as we walk around, we've got really good wide side decks. As you saw, the colour of the boat was a very dark grey and it continues on the roof as well, along here, which does match in well again with the black stainless metal work. Um, and you can walk all the way round to the bow. Now, unlike a lot of sports boats, um, this 
nice walkway continues all the way around so you feel very safe no matter where you are um, and then we enter into the windless area so electric windless um, there's even a locker here so you can access into um, where the chain is it's actually got stainless steel chain um, and a nice style of anchor um, but even the cleats on here and the fair leads again are made for um, sort of bow boarding so these have actually got these fairly actually got rollers on which is a really nice touch for tightening and loosening the bow lines when need be and obviously you've got the anchor and then it's an open front so you can get on and off the bow if need be uh, really nice and we go around I can show you actually this side as well is just the same width so it's, it's very symmetrical. Quite often you'll get one side wider than the other, but not in this case. And the roof you can actually get on top of. So as you can see, it's got a non-slip on here. You can actually walk on top of the roof. You can access everything on here. There's a huge spotlight, which you can adjust inside, which is great. There's a horn. Um, and then as you can see, we've got a really nice radar system on top, which is also painted black. I really like that all the aerials and everything are all in touch. So there's a TV aerial radar, and the, um, and the two aerials for the VHF and the OES, all in black as well. It just gives a really, really smart feel. Um, as we walk around, there's additional, um, lock. I don't know what's in here actually, let's have a quick look. So again, a bit more locker space. So again, you can store fender in there. Make it easier, anything wet, it's a wet locker. Uh, manual bilge pump. And then we'll go round, but what we'll do, this has got an option of a rear door. So it's got a rear opening door. There's also two side doors. So there's three doors into the main cabin on this boat. So I'm just gonna pop in, because it is such a new boat. I'm going to uh, take my shoes off. If I wanted to, hang the coat up, which is really nice, because there's coat hooks on here. And then if we look up here, um, when you walk in, what's very nice is that all the battery switches are just to hand like that, so you can turn them all on. Um, and then we've also got a, a master volt reader which will read voltage. Um, and then we've got an Eberspatcher diesel heater which is built into the boat. And it even got a fire extinguisher indicator as well. So all these things are straight away as soon as you come in um, or in here, even a light switch. Um, and then we'll walk through, is that actually nice? Look at that, even that's beautiful. Look at that wooden flagpole, really like that, the stainless fitting. Everything just oozes good quality. And you know, it's even the way the woodwork's curved, the woodwork's shaped, it's fitted. You know, you, you miss this on modern boats. It's very rare you see this sort of fit and finish on a modern boat, uh, but you get it on here. There's a nice, very smart television just built in. You almost wouldn't notice it's there, but it really leads onto this social area. And it's in a perfect spot for watching television. Quite often TVs are in a weird spot and you can't really see it, but this is great. Um, obviously we've got a, a table, that has a hinged, so you can make it slightly bigger if you want to, or if you're walking around, you can make it slightly smaller. This will drop and lower as well. Um, so this will make into an infill for an extra sleeping area. Um, and again, if you can see, we've got all these curtains around, so we can curtain off very cozy area. And I like the material finish to here. And again, it's dark color, which is in keeping with the rest of the boat. Very, very smart. Um, I love the flooring. Again, very traditional, but all the woodwork, all the doors are nicely finished. There's nice storage. They try and pop storage in everywhere. I mean, what's that? I mean, is that, what's that for? Charts. Could be charts. Yeah, we could do chart storage in there. So very easy to hand magazines, anything you like in there. Um, and then even things like access. Oh look, I've just noticed this, look. There's a nice mood lighting as well. That's really nice. Um, so there are modern touches to this boat, which so it feels a very modern boat, feels very modern boat, but traditional at the same time, which I really like. Um, and they think about everything. So under here is access to the fuel tanks. But it's not only access to the fuel tanks, it's, it's access to turn them on and off. It's also access to the inside of the fuel tanks, which is often a very difficult thing. So if you have any contamination in the fuel over the years, um, you can easily see that it's very easy to rectify because you can just take these caps off and clean the tanks out if need be. Now these boats, even though this is a leisure boat and set up as such, um, these are used commercially as well. So over the years, the 
the, the boat itself has been designed to be a very purposeful boat. Now the boat externally doesn't look like a normal sports boat, it looks like a patrol boat, it looks like a boat you'd see in a harbour master. Now that's on purpose, that's through its design, because if you want a very, very good seagoing boat, um, then it has to be this design. The shape of the hull spreads the water out to cut through the seas. The wheelhouse design is used to deflecting heavy seas as well. And, uh, it's, and the walk around is to make it very safe getting around the boat. And if you want all these things, great sea going, safe walk around and go anywhere, any sea boat, then this is what the design would be. So, there's, so the design cues are around these points and um, that's what makes this style of boat very, very popular because of its ruggedness and its seagoing capabilities. But also it has um, these very nice cues. So if I lift this hatch, we can see very neatly built in into this dark top is a hot and cold water sink and a twin gas burner hob. It's very smart, I think that is. Um, I'm going to put that back down. And then we also have up here, if I just uncover this, is the Targa CE plate, but also a fusion stereo system. And then some more gauges. And it says a holding tank as well. So it's holding tank gauges and voltage on the domestic side as well. Um, if we go over to this side, let me just drop this down and get more of an idea of the visibility. Um, but on this hatch as well, we can see there is extra storage for bits and pieces pencils other bits and pieces as well so they just try and put storage in everywhere cup holders and then as you come across to the main helm we've got this very large what size is that that's bigger than it's bigger than 12 inch 19. must be a 19 must be a 19 inch sharp plotter hybrid touch with buttons as well so very nice very simple design very easy to use. I love it, very clear as well. Nice, big and purposeful. Um, what I like about this helm is that um, it can be a standing helm, um, but also when you sat down, um, you can pull footrest out and you can also adjust the steering. And what I love about this is that not only does the steering wheel come to you, but so does everything else. So the engine controls come to you, the bow thruster comes to you, the automatic trim tab control comes to you, the autopilot comes to you, and even the wiper switches come to you. So everything you kind of need here <coughs> comes to you. Um, really, really nice. And it goes all the way to there. Um, very, very easy. And um, it has windscreen demisters as well, and the controller is down here. Um, so again, and they come to the side windows as well as the front very neat um, and you see this and this is very much um, a very similar boat um, um, that we a very similar boat over the years the the it hasn't changed much we sold a, um, a Targa 33 some time ago and it reminds me of that very much the same but feels much more modern even though it's the styling is still the same all these modern touches add to that and I really like it it's not broken why fix it, I think, is the term a lot of people use. Um, the engine, all the analog gauges are up here. Um, but also, this has a system where you can read all the engine, engine information on the chart plotter as well. So it has a Volvo Connect system. And then we also have two Volvo Penta LCD displays, which can show other things, such as um, things that you wouldn't see on there, things like turbo pressures and you know such like fuel fuel flow and things like that. So you can have all that on here, you can have it on there, and obviously all your analog gauges up here as well, as well as all your switches for everything else from your navigation lights um, through to your engine blowers to your fridges, your, your water pumps. So everything is controlled from up here. Um, very nice. Um, we can see there's one of the sliding doors and there's one um, behind... Nick as well, who's doing the filming for us today. I'll call him Uncle Nick now, because his sister's just had a baby. Congratulations, Nick. <laughs> um, VHF, very neatly to hand. Look at that. Yeah, no one would think to do that, apart from Botany Otago. So, it's, so you can see the VHF channel you're on, and then obviously very easy to get to as well and control like that. Um, speaker up there for the VHF, and then we've got obviously speakers for the stereo system as well. And this is the for the um, for the spotlight on top. 
Yeah, so really nice, beautiful as well. Um, finish very robust this will never break this will never break and um, and this is obviously used for you know for docking um, as well so you can actually see when you're coming yourself into dock and anchorage um, very very useful to have a great spotlight um, there's even for chart work this doubles as a chart table um, there's a red light as well for chart work and um, and then we can pop down I mean not forgetting there's loads of storage still there's cupboards so you're looking at uh, drawers cutlery drawers we're looking at three drawers there we're looking at a bin built in so everything you need in the galley is here there's even storage on this side as well there's more drawer storage and um, down there as well um, there's even a fridge obviously you're probably wondering where the fridge is well there it is fridge with freezer compartment um, so everything you'd want on a boat is here um, and it's just hidden away it's really really smart um, as we come down into the front cabin um, we can see, let me jump up onto it, just to give you an idea of size. I'd probably put the pillows up this end and then feet at the bottom. So why don't I do that? Just feels, smells like a new boat. This just, I love a new boat smell. So you can see I'm lying down. Um, before I put my head up to where the pillow would be, there's actually loads of leg room. Now, as um, a lot of the subscribers will know, I'm six foot tall. So, um, so it's probably not many people taller than me that would want to be on a boat list. But being a Scandinavian boat, everyone's tall in Scandinavia, aren't they? It's a very tall country, so the boats are built with that in mind. Um, so this is a huge feedback. If you just saw a picture of this on an advert, you'd think oh, it's quite small. Um, but actually me being down here now, it's huge, it's massive. This is a 32 foot boat, don't forget. So it's not a big boat, it's a 32 footer. But this isn't the only cabin. Um, there's an infill as well, so you can make this completely into bed. Um, it has heating vent down here. It's also got the neat lighting down the steps, which I really like. And there's a bit more, there's two more cupboard storage spots in here. There's hooks to hang things off of. Um, obviously, we've got the light switches going on as well. Um, and then we've got an opening hatch at the end and a bit of storage. There are um, reading lights up there, so you could have your head that end as well. But I think I'd prefer to be that end, to be honest. Give a bit more bit more room right let's step up and this can be completely enclosed off so you've got two doors which will shut and then this will come down over the top so again it's almost hidden the fact that it's there and you can lock it off as well so now you would not even know it was there it's brilliant right so let's pop down we haven't even seen the head yet let me show you these this is a neat touch as well, there's a there's a full height cupboard in here. So there's wellies in there and coats hanging up and there's a couple of shelves above. And of course you get an idea now, I'm actually standing down, down the bottom, but look how much room there is above me. You know, I can't reach the ceiling. There's still another five foot to the ceiling above the reach of my hand. So we're going into the depths of the boat now, which is where the sort of the, the size of the hull on the 32 really comes into its own. What I really love about this, this is the door to the head and it's hit concertinas. So they thought, well, a proper sized door, you know, won't, we won't be able to open it. But if we put a small door in, you know, we're all tall people, we won't be able to get in there. So let's concertina it like that. And now it becomes a very easy to get into heads. Um, we have an electric toilet, there's a heating vent in here. There's also a shower, so you can shower in here. And again, look at the head height. Just look at this head height, there must be another full hand above my head. And I noticed this on the other Botany Tiger that we sold, the older one, it was very similar from the head height. But again, this feels so much more modern. There's an extractor fan in here. There's even a cupboard, which I really like. Let me just show you, only because of, again, it just shows the quality. So it's even got these holders for glasses, obviously you have to put your bits and pieces in for soap and whatnot, but really nice and mirrored as well. So you can see me, hello. Um, let me pop that back. But then if I come down, I'm going to show you the now double bed. Um, so we've got a full double down here. Uh, there is a light as well. Um, so reading like there's one either end. So uh, if you think that actually you don't want to be this end, you can be this way around, which is probably again what I'd prefer because um, it gives me a bit of head height. There's another reading like this end as well. Um, and again, we've got a nice double. Um, and then it's a sit-up bubble as well. When you're sat here, you can sit up in here. The heating vent again. Um, there is a 
three pin plug that side and a twin USB this side. And there's a neat shelf here and even up here for putting your phone and things like that. Um, but it's not the only one. There is an additional single as well. If you want to pop down, you might be best doing it from in there. But as you can see, there's an additional single bed. Hang on a minute. Look how long it is. Look, I'll go, I'll go right down. Look, I've got my head. I've got my head to the end. And look, I'll get another person. Well, all the way, a short person up the other end. So this must be eight, eight foot long. Easy. So of course this doubles, you know, it doesn't have to be a bed. It's going to be storage. There's a massive shelf all the way along the back as well. And of course you've got the, um, you've got the window as well. So these windows have little ocean air blinds, really smart little blinds all the way around. But if I go the other way around, it's actually, Actually, that's quite nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And of course, you can see, if you notice that, Nick, look, see the light? It's actually, it's like routed in to the woodwork. So the woodwork's been routed, the light's been fitted into it. That's just such a good sign of quality. And there is, uh, just in the back here, there's a, um, there's a switch to turn the hot water on and off. Um, but also there's a three pin switch as well. So you've got power here as well, as well as obviously you've got your USBs and power there. Right, let me come back out. It's under here. Right, I'll pop back out and then we'll pop up because there's a couple more things I want to show you. Um, I want to go under there because I'm not seeing under there yet. What is under here? Let me shut the door up. And what I like about this door, it's a glass door so it gives you all the light through and it's lockable as well. So this is your main door lock and it's on a gas strut. So it holds itself open as well. So you won't swing around with the boats rocking around. Really nice touchy. And um, what's in there? Oh, another deep storage wet locker. There's just so much thought goes into everything on it. It's great. Um, but I've opened up the engine hatch magically. Um, and um, you can see just from here, it has twin D4 320 horsepower engine. So two 320 horsepower engines in a 32 foot boat. Um, this will push this boat to 36 knots. So it's a 36 knot boat. So your cruising speed is going to be around 30 knots. Great speed for a boat like this. Um, but as you can see in the engine bay, everything is easy to get at. Look at that, you've got the, pre, the fuel pre-filters, are easy to get at, the batteries are easy to get at, the water tank, the hydraulics for the stern drives are easy to get at. Um, you've obviously got the seacocks for the cockpit drains. Um, you've got a holding tank um, as well, which is just built here. And um, you can see the pumps, everything's accessible down here. Everything's easy to get at. Um, checking the engine water strainers, easy to get at. Um, everything is designed for easiness. Because, uh, and again, don't forget this is used as a commercial boat as well so everything needs to be and everything needs to be proper everything needs to be done with um, coding in mind which means it has to be built to a certain design to get through the coding process for commercial vehicles patrol boats harbour boats police boats and it's really built in that design but what you're getting is basically a commercially built rugged boat but with leisure in mind, which is just a fantastic combination in my view you can't beat it um, very well insulated engine bay and easy up and down. Do you have a look at the other side? Not opened up this side yet, so see if there's anything else, else we need to be looking at. Yeah, don't forget there's two of them. So you do get two of them in here. And um, just some more batteries, and then you can see the electrical installation along the back there. So that is um, all your battery switches. And don't forget these are switched electronically from inside, so you don't need to go in there to switch the batteries on and off but um, they do have um, the opportunity. That if, you, if for any reason you need to do it manually, you could do it manually from there. But everything is laid out to hand, very, very easy. What's this? Table. So that is your table and your pedestal. Look, in neat bags. I've never seen, I've never seen it in neat bags before. Look at that. Look, and there it is. That's beautiful, and a beautiful fold-up table, again, built to such a high quality and well-protected. I've seen tables stored in engine bays, but they're never covered like this and strapped down. 
with the pedestals as well in their own bag. That's so neat. Oh, I love that. That is brilliant. All right, let's put this back down. So I think um, we've seen most of this boat now. Um, so it is a 2023, don't forget, Botnia Targa 32 in fantastic condition. So if you want to see how much this is, come and see our website, parker-adams.co.uk. We're selling this in conjunction with um, Sargo Boats UK as well. So they do have it advertised as well. And um, um, so we are selling it on with them. So you'll see it for sale with them, with sale with us. Whichever one of us you come to, we will happily sell it to you, of course. So if you want to come and see it, um, come to our office. As you can see, our office is just there in Hamble Point Marina, down on the River Hamble. So come and see us and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you on the next video, probably in the next few days. Bye-bye.